Hi everyone, my name is Nick Davies and welcome to my channel. So here we are guys, it's been, uh, been a few months since I've last seen you. Uh, welcome back, thanks for tuning in for this week's episode of Board Talks by me, Nicky D. Today I'm here at Fulp Lakes, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. All my other videos have been at Liquid Leisure and uh, I thought let's come to Fulp Lakes today to review the long anticipated wakeboard company no respect today i've got two boards i've got the 148 park flex and i also have a no respect wakeboard park elite today i'm going to go and ride both of these boards here at full plakes and uh give you my honest feedback and um yeah hopefully get some good content today the sun is shining it's about six degrees and I'm ready to ride. Let's go. Now looking at both of these boards, this is more of the park jibber, flexor. You want a board that's nice and easy for pressing. Look at it, look at that shake. That's probably the softest, most flexist board I've ever seen and probably ever made. This board here is probably a mid-range flex, but a good all-rounder, so air tricks kickers stuff like that this is your go-to strictly rails strictly jibbing cruising buttering around this is the board for you the park flex look at that look how soft it is and if you can see it vibrating in the truck this board's a lot stiffer so different style of riding so what i know about no respect weightboard so far is that it's two friends who love weightboarding Weightboard enthusiasts who wanted to build the best weightboards in their opinion. So they have got together, they built a mold, they're making these weightboards in their garage. I've seen the videos, guys. So go on their website, No Respect Inc. Weightboards. Just look them up and really find out about their story because it's pretty sick to be fair. Um, I'm pretty happy to be riding these boards today and trying them out. It's a new company, but it seems like they're doing it right. They got a good following. As I said, they're really into weightboarding, so that makes that makes the company better. It makes it stronger. They know what people want, they know what they want, so they can design it just like that. So, so far, so good. As I said, I've rode these boards before, but I haven't done a review and I haven't captured it. So, from my pre-experience, pretty fun. The Park Flex is the softest, lightest, most flexest board I've ever seen, probably ever made. And the Park Elite is more of a stiffer board, as I said, but it's a good all-rounder. Trust me, the pop on it is unbelievable. The board that's quick. I don't like boards that are sluggish. These boards are like really quick, fairly light, aggressive. They're aggressive. So, you know, if you ever get a chance to ride one at your local park or anywhere that's got one, get on it. Ask to, ask to try the board out. You'll be surprised. It's not the biggest company. But they're a starting out company, so it's good to back them early days because you never know where they're going to be. Cheers, guys. Wet wetsuit, six degrees, not ideal.
Okay, Park Elite done. Time to swap the bindings and now ride the Park Flex. It is beautiful out here today. These boards are fun. I'll take these bindings off, now put them on the 148 Park Flex and go and do some rail stuff. Let's see how flexy this board really is. First things first though. Nice hot green tea for this. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, this is what it's like, people. This is the UK in January. Crisp, sunny conditions. Beautiful out here. I love it. Best time to ride. I know it's not the funnest on your knees, but the whole experience and the refreshment you get afterwards, unbelievable. Anyone out there looking for a small stance, then these boards are for you. This is very narrow. I normally go all in. Um, all boards are different, obviously. But this board, the Park Flex, looks very narrow. So again, for rail riding, it's going to be pretty fun. I've got loads of tip and tail to press on. And the same on the, the Park Elite, to be fair. It's pretty narrow, but doesn't seem as narrow as this. Don't hold me to that, but this looks pretty small. But let's, uh, let's go and crash. Okay, I'll see you soon. Cheers. She's got some flex in her. That is the flexiest board I have ever seen and held in my hands. One, two, that's all I can count to people. Ah, there we are. What a day, what a ride. I've just got done riding here at Full Flakes on these two bad boys. It's a fresh one, but it was lovely. No one here, nice and calm, nice flat lake for my ride. Pretty fresh, but I love it. It wakes you up. Now guys, girls, dogs, Cats, humans, aliens. I am going to go to my truck all the way over there and I'm going to drop these onto their sides to see how strong these boards really are. I'm going out my way to break them. Let's see how we get on. Stay tuned. <laughs> my favourite part of the video, the board drop. Take you in. Let's take you in. Oh, anything? Nothing on the park elite. What? That is strong. And <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I dropped these boards perfectly. 
the best job I've done, I think. And they're uh, still scum out. Well, there we have it, people. Not a single thing. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. I dropped these boards perfectly on their sides and they should have split. It should have broken up on these stones. But I'm well impressed. I am well impressed with that. Overall, I've had a good ride. That was fun. Both boards ride completely different. The Park Elite, as I said earlier, is a good all round. Air trick, kicker, braille. It's quick. It's got good pop. It's got two channels underneath that give you some kind of grip. Um, it's not the flexiest, but again, that's not what I look for in a board these days. I liked it. I liked it a lot. The graphics are pretty sick and they design your own graphics. So, definitely now, get on that, people. That's unbelievable. And this part flex, do you know what? In my, in my vision of it, I thought, ah, it's not for me. It's too flexy and all that. But that being said, I still had a good time on it. It's pretty difficult to hold a flex because it keeps on going. It keeps on wanting to slip out. Bop, 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 bop. The board's gone. But it's cruising around. There's no channels underneath. The board's completely flat. There's no concave. It's squared up. It's got a carbon fibre underglay. It's got un underglay. Underlay. It's got a wood graphic part of the board. Polyphane sidewall. It's good, guys. Before it's lasted a drop of the chuck. I'm impressed. You should be too. No respects. Thank you for sending me these boards. Sorry it's taken so long, but I've been busy. It's got married, got a kid, changing nappies, trying to lose weight, signing up for a boxing fight. So, guys, if you want to, you know, support me in that as well, that's the 24th of the 4th, 2022. So, that's going to be good. But anyway, enough about that. These boards are great, guys. Anyone out there looking to try something different, want to mix up your riding, try some new boards, don't go what everyone else is riding, then look at these these are the no respect boards this is the park flex this is the park elite i had good fun you probably will too cheers guys see you next time